Hello, my name's Rob, and welcome to Swift Slots. Now, to quote Dave from Slot R YouTube channel, today is a good day because today I have a box from George at Area 51 Raceway. Now, hopefully, you all know all about George. He's a great guy and he specializes in scratch built slot cars and he runs different proxy races through the year. And I was in one of the channel, one of the, the chats the other day and I said to George, I would love to scratch build something and send it to you. And he said, well, do it. You're more than welcome. But the problem is in the UK, we can't get the parts that are legal for his racing because it's it's kind of USA centric. So it'd be very expensive for me to import all the parts and then send it all back out and back and forth. And if I can buy the kit itself that these cars are based on on eBay UK, they're really expensive because they're exclusive. But uh, that's it. So it's a little bit expensive. But George said, Rob, if you want to do it, I'll help you. So I said, I'd love to do it. So I let George tell me what car he'd like me to enter. And then I chose the scale and he got me sorted out and he's sent me all the parts in this box. Now, I've not opened this box at all. George tells me it's safe to open. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to get you on my bench. I'm going to open this box and we're going to go through all the bits in this box and see what we've got. And then my next job is literally on this building it so that I can get it done ASAP and sent back out to George. Now I will have to put my Revo slot uh, Marlboro repaint job on hold that's halfway through, but that's not a problem. This is only going to take me a couple of weeks. I can get this made and then we can get the Revo slot build finished. And then there's a couple of small videos that I've got lined up anyway that I can sprinkle in between now and completing this model. So within a couple of weeks time, this should be done. I should be able to make a video on this and then we can send it over to George and then George can run it around his track in the proxy race in December and then we can see how well it goes. And who cares if it doesn't win? I don't care. I just wanted to build this car. I'm really excited to do it. So let's get you on this box and find out what's in it. So first up, we have the motors. Now I'm really, really pleased to get this particular one because it's got a green end bell and I love green and it's ball raced and it's a predator and we can't get them in the UK. And it's got a skull on it. What's not to like? But George said he would send me one of these because I wanted one for a future build and they just look so cool. So thank you for that. And then we have a slim can and a standard long can, 22, uh, 20 and a half thousand K. And this one here is 18,000 K. So they will be good to put in the build. I don't know which ones of these motors go into the kit that I'm building now, but George will tell me imminently, I'm sure. But they're really nice too. Again, we can't get these in the UK, so they're really quite exclusive to have. And I'm very pleased that I've got them. So thank you again. So next up, we've got this very intriguing little box of things. Now it weighs quite a bit and I've no idea what's in here. But let's take a look together and find out what we've got. Well, here we are. So we've got some brass and some piano wire. Lots of brass, lots of piano wire. We have all oh, pull gauge tires, the correct ones. So they'll be pretty smart. We have another Predator motor. Now I'm assuming now that this particular box goes with the kit and the other motors are extra motors because I know that this motor, I now know that this motor is what we're using and these wheels and tires are certainly the right ones. We've got the proper motor bracket in brass. We've got the proper guide with the correct fittings and so on. Again, all these came from America because the rules are that way inclined that the stuff that they use in America is difficult to get in the UK or just to make sure that my car is completely legal for the proxy race. It's all coming from America. So we've got some silicon wire. We've got some more brass, which is the tubes for the axles and so on. And a, and a slimline tongue. We've got the rather nice CB design wheels, which again are a legal requirement for the proxy race. We got the correct gearing, which will work well on George's track. And we have lots of stickers. Now these are really cool stickers. Look at these. It's, it's funny, isn't it? How a YouTuber can actually supply stickers, yet shops very often don't. Come on guys, we need stickers. We need to advertise your wares on our tracks. So here we are. So we've got some really cool stickers here and they will end up going onto my track. 
We've got a little aluminium plaque there, which is really cool. And then we've got the three amigos. Uh, what's it? Oh, another little metal plaque, which is cool. We've got George and Harry and Dave. And we got the home racing well sticker from Harry's track. And we got good old Dave's custom slot cars. Thank you, Dave. That's really cool. Shotgun Dave. And then we got some slot car corner stickers and some more Amigo stickers and then some more slot car stickers and a piece of rogue brass floating around. So let's have a close look at these. So there's your CB design wheels, the correct size. And then we have our nice pour gauge tires all ready for truing and cooking some laps. And we've got the, what one is this one now? My eyes are failing me. 17 and a half K Predator long cam motor. And we have the inline gear, the pinion and the bearings. And then we have the commercial guide. Now I asked George to send me everything to make sure that everything was completely as it should be. And this commercial guide was part of, of that deal. And we've got the motor bracket and all the other brass and bits and bobs. So that's that lot sorted out. And then we move on to the meat of the parcel, which is the midget racer in 1 20th scale. So here is the box. Now again, I haven't seen these in the UK. These are incredibly rare in the UK. We just don't have them. And if you do find them on eBay, all the ones that I've found that even remotely similar to this are absolute fortunes in money. So really not very practical to buy in the UK. So this is really cool to have this sent to me. So thank you again, George, for <laughs> doing a lot of thank yous, but trust me, it's very much appreciated. So let's crack into this and see what we get inside the box. This is a brand new kit. So that's really nice to have a brand new kit. It's not a used one or anything. So here we are. So we've got some really nice classic water slides. And we've got some instructions. Boring. Who wants those? And then we've got the bag. Interesting bits. And let's just chop them open and have a look. So there we are. So for you guys that don't know what one of these looks like, and nor do I, I'm learning as we go here myself. We've got all the components to make a static kit. And it's actually quite a bit more in there than I thought there might have been, actually. I didn't realise it came with an engine detail and so on. So we've got the two halves of the body shell. We've got a little driver figure. The bonnet hood, or bonnet as we call it in the UK back axle and then on this sprue we've got some nice exhausts we've got uh, side bar, nerf bars rear bar dashboard front bash front bash bar on this one we have the little grill steering wheel and some suspension um, geometry parts and then we have these static wheels which obviously we won't be using those and the driver's arms and the engine block so there we are so that's what an actual 120th scale midget from America looks like. So there they are, my little alien deliveries from Area 51, courtesy of George. Thank you very much, George. I'm going to get stuck straight into this slot now and I'm going to create a slot car on screen on a video and I'm going to send it straight off over to George at Area 51 in time for their December proxy race of the midget class in 124th scale. So I'm going to leave you now so I can crack on and get on my bench and start making these models. So if you've enjoyed this content maybe you'll subscribe and if you hit the little bell button that'll be awesome. So until the next time thank you very much and thank you George.